I really hope that I'm acting as a good mentor and a good example for younger women or even my peers in balancing family and career because, you know, I just personally find it very challenging when I see women who have these amazing careers and have done these amazing things and have a family and I just think I could never do that. And so I hope that I'm being honest with those around me and with my peers and those who are even younger than me and coming up in the law firm to explain to them that you can't have it all. You can't be excellent at everything. I mean, it's just not true. Sometimes there's always a give and take and sometimes you're going to spend more time in your career and sometimes on your family, but you can find a good balance and you really have to decide what you value and what's most important to you and keep that in front of you at all times. So I hope I'm acting as a good mentor and a good example to women around me and, and challenging them to grow and, and serve our community too and have a family or a career at the same time. I think it's important for people to be involved in their community for many, I mean, there's many different reasons. One is, of course, the betterment of the community. Um, I think it's, it, it is um, critically important that, you know, again, the saying of to those who have been given much, you need to share, you need to then give back because there are others who haven't had the same opportunities, maybe have fallen on hard times, oftentimes through no fault of their own, that um, it's our responsibility to um, pull everyone along with us uh, so that the community is better. When you have people hurting in your community, uh, that permeates throughout. And um, it's critically important that everyone feels, feels a part of that and by giving back, you know, personally, there's a lot of personal fulfillment, but it also just makes life better for all of us. I like to think of myself as an authentic leader, and that's very important to me. And I'm also pretty upbeat, as any of my colleagues would tell you. So I come to work in a good mood, I'm in a good mood all day, and I like to inspire those around me to have fun in meetings, to, but to do the hard work. And I also love to work with every type of employee in our organization. I love working with the physicians, I love working with our nurses, I love talking to our transporters and our uh, environmental services uh, employees, but one of my favorite things to do is to walk in every morning and stop at the front desk and talk to our employees that greet our patients and greet our families. That really inspires me to get to know them as individuals. In fact, one of our associates, a longtime employee of UC Medical Center for more than 20 years, passed away from cancer and I, I went to her funeral on Saturday because I wanted to be part of the celebration of her life and it was an amazing experience for me and it brought me closure with somebody who was very special to me. So that's really what inspires me, talking to the people at every level of our organization and knowing what they do for our patients. I love it. Um, I, I think it's diversity and inclusion a lot of people may feel is easy. It's a challenge though. It's a challenge because every person is different. Diversity just means differences, right? It's all about inclusion. It's about uh, getting that feeling that you belong to something. And when you make that happen, you feel good about it. We're all different and we can't pinpoint one person to another because we all have um, experiences in our lives that have shaped us to be the person that we are. And um, breaking through any barriers um, and becoming more aware and educated really helps connect us. And when you get your team or your people that work with you to feel that same inclusive feeling of belonging to something, that's what gets me up in the morning. I do what I do because of the impact that it has on the communities that I live in and the people that I, I work with. I've been in financial services, I've been in consulting, and those were great careers. But in healthcare, you really see that you make a difference in people's lives every day. Uh, just by even walking somebody down the hall into a patient room in a, in a period of time in their lives when they're scared and they're nervous, it's, it's really a wonderful thing when they look at you and say thank you, and you've really made a difference in their day. Uh, I don't always get that patient direct experience, but when we do, it is, it's really uh, inspiring to me. Well, what fuels my passion for philanthropy 
really does go back to the fact that I come from a very modest background. I didn't know anybody who was wealthy when I was a child. And my parents taught me to respect others. And so from that, and then from various experiences I've had through college and in my early career days, then connecting with the Irwin Sweeney Miller Foundation and that family who so inspired me many years ago, it really sparked something in me to want to give my entire life to helping others. And when I go to Belize, I would bring him clothes um, that um, a lot of people in Belize are living in huts. They don't have any clothes. They might have maybe a shirt or two, a pair of shoes. So when I go to Belize, I would try to bring them clothes and shoes and reading glasses and sunglasses. And to see somebody who can read with glasses, wow, it's a joy for me because they not just don't know how to read, but these women uh, sew for a living. So by putting the glasses on, they can now thread the needle without squinting or anything like that. So to see them with their eyes and their faces just light up, it's just a joy and for me, it's, that's God working for us.